Okay, um, I'm starting to have real issues with trying to load videos, and and it, so I know it doesn't affect this class all that much because I've seen that most of my videos aren't getting watched anyway. But um, but I, I teach some online classes, and and that's it, the only way I have to communicate. And for some reason, I'm doing everything right, and or everything I'm I always can't stand it. I don't know why I'm ranting to you all. You all don't care, but I just need to rant to somebody before I'm, I'm, I'm getting it out of my system before I call our IT people and, and, you know, make a fool of myself. Um, I, I, I just don't understand why when you've been doing something for a year and a half, all of a sudden it becomes really difficult to do all these procedures you've done. You know, I, I don't get it, but anyway, all right. So, uh, you all are probably wondering why the hell are we listening to this? Why am I taking physics? But anyway, because um, that's the way life is, I guess. All right, starting from rest, a basketball rolls from the top of a hill, reaching a translational speed of 8 meters per second. How high is the hill? All right, now, back in the day, like three weeks ago, when you were first learning, we know that the energy before is equal to the energy after. Energy before is equal to the energy after. But this time we've got something rolling. All right, and so it's not just a sliding block or, or a skier going down a frictionless hill or something. We've actually got something rolling, and and um, the key to this problem is that the energy before is equal to the energy after. Well, the energy before is his potential energy of mgh, um, not, and his energy after is actually equal to one half mv squared, which they gave us the v plus plus one-half I omega final, omega final squared, where his, um, this was zero over here and this was zero over here, all right? So that's what you got to deal with. They gave you V, but there's two things I need to tell you, all right, or, th or that I feel compelled to fill you in on, all right? I, I just went ahead and went to, um, you know, the standard moments of inertia things here. All right. Um, so here's the first one. So we're looking at a basketball, and I assume that that's a thin spherical shell. Okay? And I was right. I, I went ahead and did this problem, so I was right. So the I for a basketball is equal to I equals two-thirds MR squared. So I of the B-ball is equal to one-third times m r squared. Now notice all of our m all of our masses are going to cancel. Okay? And then it asks then later on, this is for part 1, then it asks later on for the juice can, for the jc, for the juice can, um, and it's solid. So I assumed okay, it's a and they didn't give me a length. All right? Cuz right away you can you might be going, well, so what's the length have to do with? It? Well, look, we have a solid cylinder with a length of l and it's rolling about, um, it's, a, it's a solid cylinder, um, but it's not being spun about this axis. It's rolling down this axis, okay? Because, um, and so it's I is equal to one half MR squared for a solid disk, all right? And that's the one that I used, and that worked out to be okay. So you have one half MR squared that one, that you might be going, well, wait a minute, they didn't give me R. Ah, do you need it? Because remember, omega is equal to V over R. Therefore, omega squared is equal to V squared over R squared. Lots of things cancel, and you can figure this out from there. All right? But th these are your big hints in trying to solve that one.